I was reflecting today on how as Christians, we have a responsibility to try to model our lives after Jesus. To do this, we must be open to God's grace. And when we fall short, ask him for forgiveness, get back up and keep trying. Because Jesus never gave up on us. We can't give up on him. So one way we can model our lives after Christ is by being grateful. Like St. Paul said in the first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. Let me read that to you. That's 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. It says, In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Let me read that again. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's not easy. In all circumstances, give thanks. But that's why we need to have our hearts open to receive the grace, graces that God wants to give to us, so we can. Because with him, we can do all things. So, We are to give thanks to God whether we think what is happening is good or not. Because it's not the situation that we should be looking at, but it's our faith and trust in God that he would never allow anything to happen to us in our lives without bringing a greater good from it. We may not understand it at the time when we're suffering and going through difficulties, but be assured that we will understand one day. Gratitude helps us to see God. It opens our spiritual eyes, you can say. The more we thank God, the more we see him working in and around us. Gratitude helps us sense God's presence, his personal care and his perfect timing. It strengthens our faith and opens us up to receive more graces the graces that we need to even model our life after him. So we want to be more open and receive those graces we need. And I don't want to forget to mention that studies have been done showing that being grateful helps people physically and mentally. So how can we work at being more grateful? It's by saying thank you. Say the words when your waiter at the restaurant refills your water. Say thank you when someone holds the door open for you or pushes the elevator button, bags your groceries, hands you back your credit card when you're shopping at the store. Say thank you when your spouse makes the bed, when your children give you a hug. Just keep saying thank you. And the more you do it, the more you become aware of how many things throughout your day that that you have to be grateful for. Also, another way is having a journal and writing down every day what you're grateful for. I know families that at dinner time, each member of the family goes around the table and they each share what they were grateful for that day. You know, that's a beautiful tradition for families and for anyone to do with friends or family. And then when feeling grateful for something someone has done for you, let them know it. Take the time to write a letter or call them on the phone. So, how do we live grateful lives? It's by saying thank you. So thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Thank you for all your prayers for my sisters in Christ. Be assured that all the servants of Mary, ministers of the sick, are praying for you and your families. God bless you. And thank you.